Namaste everybody, this is Sri Akashna here and today our wireframe sequence is going to be focused on uh, balance, focused on flexibility. This is the main focus of the training and obviously we go through opening up the chakra points, the minor chakras and the major chakras to the final part where we do our manifestation meditation. So we'll work on the energy flow. So we'll start off by warming up the body a little bit. We're gonna do it by doing a few cycles of sun salutation. So if we please come to the front of the mat, feet us together, hold pranam. Take an inhale, exhale, eyes are closed. Prepare the mind for powerful practice. Slowly open your eyes, come back. Take an inhale, arch back. Take an exhale, come forward and down. Bring your palms into the ground. Head into the knees. Take the right foot, step back, drop the knee to the ground. Feet is out, push forward and up. Inhale. Breathe. Exhale, bring the left foot back. Hold. Plank. Feel the power, the energy from the ground. Connect with ground energies, earth energies. Breathe. Exhale, bring the knees to the ground, your chest to the ground, your chin to the ground. Keep your bum up. Breathe. Take an inhale, come up. Keep the elbows in. Inhale, exhale. Toes into the ground, bring back into downward dog. Feel the stretch on your heels, on your feet, on your calves. Take your right foot, step forward into the space, drop your left knee to the ground, left foot is out. Inhale, look up. Keep the forehead relaxed when we look up. Left foot comes forward into the space, Full palms are in the ground. Bring your head into your knees. Nice. And tight into the knees. Bring your palms together. Lift up. Inhale, arch back. Exhale, come forward. Take an inhale, arch back. Exhale, come down. Full palms into ground. Head into knees. Left foot comes back, drop the knee, drop the feet into the ground, push forward, inhale, exhale. Bring the left toes into the ground, right foot comes back, hold plank, hold nice and strong. Drop your knees to the ground. Keep your feet, your toes into the ground. Drop your chest and your chin into the ground. Keep the bum up. Take an inhale, come up. Keep your elbows in. Look up as high as you can. Keep the forehead relaxed. Take an exhale, come down into downward dog. Take your left foot, step forward into the space. Look up as high as you can. Take the right foot, step forward into the space, head into knees, full palms into the ground. Come up, hold pranam, lift up, inhale, arch back. Exhale, come forward. Slowly relax, come out. Now, Come to the center of the mat. To get our balance, we want to make sure that body is not swaying too much out of balance. Then we need to check our left, right channels. So very quickly, we balance out our two breaths from the left and the right. Check which one is open and which one is closed. The one that is more blocked, if the one is more blocked, then open it up by covering the one that is more open. So force the breath out. 
force the breath out of the one that is more blocked to balance out the breath. Once we have more balance in the breath, it'll be easier to balance in the body. So we take our left foot, keep the left foot in the ground. I'd like you to raise your right foot and we're going to lift it up into tree pose. So hold in your inner thigh. Palms are out. Breathe, balance, gaze forward. Hold pranam. Inhale, exhale. And Kaina is moving off mat. <laughs> inhale, exhale. Take an inhale, come up. Nice and high. Reach up nice and high, as high as you can. Gaze forward. Slowly come back down. Slowly relax and come out. Shift to the other side. Right foot is down. Make sure you get a nice clump onto the ground. With distractions, if distractions are around or your thought is somewhere else, you're thinking about other things, it's very tough to stay stable and balanced. Just like in life, everything is the same. If mind is calm and we're focused on one thing, it's easy. When there's distractions, we lose the balance. So, same thing. Breathe, check your breath work. Nice and calm, mind is calm. Right foot is clamped into the ground. Left foot we lift, we place it in inner thigh, bring it nice and high. Place it in there, hold, tree pose. Inhale, exhale. Slowly bring the palms up into the sky. Straighten the elbows completely. Reach up nice and high. Breathe. Slowly come down. And slowly relax. Come out. Beautiful. Very nice. Now, we take the right foot. This will be challenging for some. Okay. So, if you fall, just come back up. Fall, just come back up. It's okay if you fall. So, Left foot is down, so over time we will gain this focus and this balance. Left foot is down, right foot we lift, we place the right foot on the thigh this time. On the thigh, knee will bring back, palms are out. Inhale, exhale, breathe, balance. Inhale, come up. Breathe. This time, exhale. I want your fingertips to come down into the ground. Fingertips down to the ground. When your fingertips are down to the ground, I like you to look forward. Breathe. Feel the balance. Take an inhale, look up. Take an exhale. I like you to push your full palms into the ground. Bring your head towards your knee. Hold that for five, four, Three, two, one. Now slowly, slowly keep the balance. Slowly come back up. Be standing, spine is straight. Slowly relax. Beautiful. Switch, other side. Right foot is in the ground. Left foot, we lift up. Slowly. Place the left foot on the thigh, on the right thigh. Hold there nice and strong, keep the knee back. Palms are out. Breathe. Balance. Inhale up. Exhale down, bring the fingertips into the ground. Keep the knee straight, look forward. Inhale. Exhale, push the full palms into ground and place the head into the knee. 
Hold there for five, four, three, two, one, and slowly, slowly come up. Breathe. Back is straight. And relax. Come out. Now you can smile again. <laughs> Breathe. Okay. Now hold pranam, feet are together. Eyes are closed. Feel the breath and feel the balance. Take an inhale. Exhale, I like you to push out. Hold in a 90 degree. Keep your arms nice and high. If you take a look at what Kaina is doing here. So back and arms are completely straight. Okay. If we also look, head will be up nice and straight. We hold here. Three, two, one. Slowly come up. Breathe, balance. Breathe, balance. Again, take an inhale. Exhale, push forward. Keep the body nice and straight. Keep the head is straight, is balanced. You're not looking, your chin is not down. Very nice. Keep the arms nice and high. Hold strong, four, three, two, one, slowly come up, breathe, and relax the palms, breathe. Very nice. Now, left foot is down. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take the right foot, we're gonna lift up, we're going to interlock the big toe. So interlock. Again, two fingers and thumb. Back is nice and straight. Knee is straight. Take an inhale. Exhale, straighten. Knee is straight. Hold there. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come in and relax. Switch other side. Right foot is down. Left foot comes up and we lock. Take an inhale. Exhale, come out. Hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly relax and come back. Breathe. Breathe, balance. Slowly, bring yourself down to be seated in center of mat. Now, take the left foot, place it out. Your right foot, we will lift, place it on top. Slowly open up, bring the knee to the ground, become comfortable until your knee is comfortably on ground without trying. Okay, so it can just stay in this position. Open up. If it's very tense, if you're up here, then just keep opening up bit by bit, day by day, millimeter by millimeter. We will finally get there. Everybody will. Okay, so keep practicing every day. And we switch to the side. Right foot is out. Left foot is on top. Same thing, we open up. Okay, same thing, we open up. Open up, breathe. So when we practice flexibility in body, we will gain flexibility in mind, a way to be like water, to not be affected by things. We will have flexibility in life to adapt to situations. When we have balance in body is the same, balance in life. And relax, come out. Okay. 
relax, come out. Now, bring the two feet in, interlock the palms, bring the toes in, back is nice and straight, open up as much as we can, butterfly. So this isn't about speed, try to get distance, nice distance up and down, open up. Breathe. And relax. Now, interlock the palms, hold nice and tight. Back is nice and straight, take an inhale. Exhale, come down towards the feet. So head towards the feet or towards the ground if you can. Take an inhale, come up. Exhale, come down. Inhale, come up. Exhale, come down. Inhale, come up. Breathe, balance, very nice. Left foot is in, right foot is out. Take an inhale. Exhale, bring the body down to the right leg. Hold there for five, four, three, two, one. And slowly come up, switch other side. Inhale, exhale, come down, hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come up. Breathe. Two feet are out. Take an inhale. Exhale, come down. Hold on to heels if you can. Bring your head towards your knees. Hold. Four, three, two, one. Slowly relax. Breathe. Move your legs. Relax. We're going to lift up into boat pose on three, two, one, we lift up, arms are out, feet are straight, back is straight, hold there, keep the balance nice and strong, hold there, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and slowly come forward, Sukhasana, breathe, back is straight. Now what we're going to do, we're going to gain a bit of strength in crow pose. From crow pose, we will go into crane pose. So we'll begin, we'll have Kaina, we'll show. When we do crow pose, our elbows are bent slightly. When we do crane, we will straighten the elbows and we will get a little bit more height. So if Kaina can show. So. We are here in crow pose. Then when we straighten the elbows, we are in crane pose. And come down, very good. Okay, so we all try to hold for some time there. Everybody will do this together. So we come forward. So we be squatted this way only. Our arms are above. Okay, so our arms are above. We be here. What we'll do, We'll drop the palms into ground. You can bend the elbow slightly. And on three, two, one, we will lift up onto the arms and hold there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come down. Breathe. Breathe. This time what we're going to do, when we go up onto crow pose, we're going to straighten our arms so that it's in crane pose and we're going to hold for 10 seconds. Okay, so it'll be tough for sure. A lot of people will not be able to do these. But not being able to do, I always say, is not a problem. Not trying is where the problem happens. Everything in life is the same. Right? When we do something we cannot do and we practice the thing we cannot do, we end up growing. That's our growth. So this is the point of practice. 
So we do the same. Our palms are down. Our knees are up. On three, two, one, we find the balance. We come up. We straighten our elbows. Get the height. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come down. Breathe. Breathe. Today is a lot of moves on balance, on strength, balance, flexibility. Breathe. So now what I'd like us to do is all to open up back for opening up that main tap on the back, okay? So what we're gonna do, I want everybody to come up onto your knees. Come up onto your knees. Breathe. Breathe. Place your palms on your heels. Push your pelvis forward, arch your head back, breathe. Feel the stretch. Inhale, exhale. And slowly come up. Breathe. Breathe. Smile. If you feel a little lightheaded, keep your eyes open. Balance out the energies and you'll come back. We go again. On three, two, one, left palm down, right palm down, push the pelvis forward, arch the head back, hold there for five, four, three, two, one, slowly come up, breathe. Now we're going to do one slightly more advanced by lifting one arm out, okay? So if we come back onto our heels, we push the pelvis forward, we bring the left arm out, hold. Five, four, three, two, one, switch. Hold, five, four, three, two, one, slowly come up. Mind is calm. Bring our toes into the ground. Come back. Now what we're going to do, we're going to do a few that are upside down to bring the energies now up towards third eye for the meditation practice at the end. So I'd like you to put your palms down and come back into downward dog, everybody. Come back into downward dog, okay? Hold a strong downward dog, heels are down, feet are together. Now slowly lower your head into the ground and bring your palms behind your back and hold prayer, hold namaste, facing the ground. So fingers, fingertips facing the ground, hold there for five, four, three, two, palms into ground, lift up into downward dog. Okay, breathe, breathe. Breathe, this is resting, breathe. Feel the gratitude to be alive. In life, all challenges for sure will be there. During the most challenging times, can you keep a positive spirit full of love and gratitude? On three, two, one, head into the ground. Again, hold prayer behind back, facing the ground. Hold there for five, 
four, three, two, one. Palms into ground. Lift up into downward dog. Very good. Walk the palms towards the feet until they're parallel with the feet. Grab a hold of the legs, bring your head into the knees and hold there for five, four, three, two, one. Hold prayer. Inhale, arch back. And exhale, come forward. Breathe, balance, relax. And come into the center of the mat. Sit in Sukhasana for our final meditation. It's beautiful. <laughs> for sure, this one was a lot more tougher than the uh, last few weeks, the past few weeks. Mm. So we do what we can. My master always says, we've got to practice the things we cannot do. We should not be practicing the things that we just say is favorite because we enjoy it. In life is the same. When we practice the things we cannot do, we become greater every day. We become an improved version of ourselves. So it's important we have that discipline and we push ourselves forward. Mm. Pressure, pushing pressure a little bit is okay. Pain is not. So be very aware how we listen to that body. When we push through pressure, a lot of the time we grow. We push through pain, sometimes that stubbornness is too much. So we gotta strike that balance too. So we're gonna finish off with our manifestation meditation. Our energies are moving nicely right now. So we place our two palms facing up. Our eyes are closed. Back is nice and straight. Take a slow, deep inhale. And an exhale. And again, inhale. Slow exhale. Mind is calm, no disturbance. I'd like you to bring your attention towards your third eye. At your third eye, I'd like you to visualize a light. Make it extremely bright. A bright light is shining there. Make it brighter and brighter. It's powerful, like the sunlight shining there. In the center of the light, you see yourself, visualize yourself, you're sat in the center of the light. The back of yourself, you're sat there in meditation. You're wearing exactly what you're wearing today. You're there, in third eye, right in the center of the light. On three, two, one, I'd like you to move yourself into becoming the one that sat in the light. So you move into that manifestation dimension, that open portal. You become the one that sat at the light. You realize by observing and seeing all the light all around you, then you know you have shifted your energies and you are there now. You are here now in the center of the light. Breathe, balance. From everything we visualize here, we become so much more powerful for manifestation. We feel this light pressure towards the head. That are the energies that are powerful. In our mind's eye, I'd like you to visualize your greatest manifestation. See the whole scenario, the situation as if it's happening right now. See it as if it's real. You are there with the visualization. You are part of the visualization. You are there. You are witnessing. You are experiencing. You see where you are, who you're with, and what is happening is exactly what you desire. Stay on that visualization. Don't be distracted. Stay focused. While you are there, you're seeing exactly what is to happen. 
your greatest manifestation. I'd like you to feel every emotion, the excitement that it's all happening, the joy, the beauty, the love, the gratitude, that all is happening for you. You feel the energies. It's beautiful. It's a miracle. It's all happening and it's real. It's all happening right now in this future dimension. Be there, focus. Feel the emotions in every cell of your body. Take a deep inhale, come back. Your focus is back towards your third eye. At your third eye, you see the light and you sat in the center of the light as you started. You are back here now. Take your left palm, place it over your heart, your right palm over your left. Feel the warmth, feel the energies in your heart. Take a deep inhale, allow the energies to penetrate through the heart into your system. Hold the breath on full breath. Allow all these manifestations and these energies to absorb into every cell of your body so you become your manifestation and slowly exhale. Again, inhale. Slow exhale. Allow the energies to settle and you to become one with the thing that you want. Bring your two palms, rub them together in front of you. Gently place them over your eyes, activate your senses. Bring your attention back here now. Bring your palms over your ears, cover your ears. Bring your alertness here now. Bring your palms on the back of your neck. Send in the healing. Remove any unwanted energies. Feel relaxed in the knowing that everything is here for you. Bring your two palms down the sides of your neck until they meet into prayer, into namaste. Hold that heart. Relax the breath. Feel the joy, feel the love, feel the gratitude for life and everything we have. Allow this gratitude, this joy, this love to express on our facial expression, that beaming smile and that beaming light of positivity that you are. Allow these energies, these high vibrational frequencies to channelize in every cell of your body. It's beautiful. You are beautiful and you are powerful. When you are ready, slowly come back and open your eyes. Love and prayers for all of you. Namaste.